Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After the initial radio silence over the Agni 5 missile test, now more details are being released regarding the test conducted on 15th of December 2022. The Agni 5 was test fired in its full operational configuration for its entire range. The missile incorporated some of the new technologies which makes it lighter as well as enables it to achieve larger range. As per the reports from ANI, India has now developed the capability to strike beyond 7,000 kilometers. The weight of missile has been reduced by replacing steel with composites. The missile's weight has been reduced more than 20% which enables the missile to hit beyond 7,000 km. This missile can be further modified easily to achieve the range of 9,000 km. As we have already reported in our community section, the Agni-5 missile was tested with more composite content. Earlier, second and third stage of Agni-5 missile was made up of carbon composite rather than 250 grade marging steel. Now, DRDO has even used composite for the first stage motor casing of Agni-5. It seems to be using carbon composite called Carbon Fiber Reinforced Polymer CFRP. The composite presents good strength and stiffness, relatively low density, high damping ability, good dimensional stability and good corrosion resistance. The reduction of 20% weight as reported means that the missile can carry more fuel and can easily reach the range of 7000 km. The use of composites in Agni-5 will not only give it more range but will also make it more reliable and survivable than legacy plastic missiles in service with Strategic Forces Command. The another feature of Agni-5 missile is SOC that is System on Chip Based Onboard Computer which weighs just 200 grams and has 6 to 7 times greater processing capability than the earlier versions which was based on printed circuit board. If you are from electronics or computer engineering branch, I am pretty sure you would know about the printed circuit board. The older PCB-based system weighs close to 5 kg. The SOC integrates the entire guidance of Agni-5 missile and weighs just 200 grams. The missile uses a combination of ring laser, gyro inertial navigation system and a micro inertial navigation system for guidance. For the first time, a redundant micro navigation system was used in Agni-5. This guidance along with its control system gives the missile double digit accuracy of less than 30 meters CEP. The Agni 5's re-entry vehicle, whose pictures and videos are going viral on social media platform, is highly maneuverable. All three stages of Agni 5 have flex nozzle control system, which enhances the maneuverability during the flight. Even if the re-entry vehicle changes its angle by a degree, it will make its interception very difficult at hypersonic speed by Chinese anti-ballistic missile defense system. The test of Agni-5 missile is paving the way for futuristic long-range ballistic missiles which will be able to defeat Chinese anti-ballistic missile defenses for decades to come. It is expected that 12,000 km range Agni-6 will be tested sometime in 2025 even though government remain tight-lipped on its development. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.